Hello, welcome back to the OFL Excavations. I'm here in Area D1 with Christopher Eames. Hi, Chris. Hello, Brent. So what's your job on the excavation this year? So I'm Area Supervisor of Area D1. Uh, this is a continuation of our excavation underground uh, through a series of tunnels from last year. So uh, I believe you've already done an interview with Amir. His mm -hmm. is Area D. His is the upper area, trying to get down to this nice, beautiful Second Temple period uh, large structure and area D1 is essentially a series of drainage tunnels that go beneath it and then that also help make up the important substructure for the building on top. So I think some of our viewers will be familiar with this large uh, rectangular mikveh right. that you can just see behind us. So at the very bottom of it there's a drainage port uh, that leads out from the mikveh. Uh, you might be able to see it on the camera. It, it makes a T-junction uh, and then goes back underground and heads toward another mikveh which is further into the building mm -hmm. and then there's another potential mikveh that we think we might have underneath an upper Byzantine structure and then now what we're digging through is really the new area for this year. So this, this has been a blocked up uh, section of tunnel. Uh, the area that we dug last year uh, through with the rest of the tunnels, we already knew the extent of it. It had already been revealed from the 70s, even though it was still filled with these earth fills. So last mm -hmm. year we excavated these fills out. We got a lot of amazing finds. This year is kind of exciting because we're, we're cutting through untouched material that even in the 70s they hadn't discovered so there's still that element of mystery there about right. where this drainage system will lead already it seems like we've got another tee off uh, underground towards uh, this way and then a continuation uh, running through this way as well so this is like entirely underground subterranean water tunneling system that right. that brings water from somewhere and to these uh, these really um, unique uh, ritual baths here. So you're going out this direction, away from the ritual bath, and I guess you're trying to find, hopefully, more of where the water came from. Yeah, hopefully a continued preservation of these walls. So we still don't know a lot about how the drainage system worked, uh, if, if it was bringing water in solely or just bringing it out. Uh, and then to make things more confusing, what we've just found uh, in this main open area is a series of plastered steps mm -hmm. uh, against the side of the wall. So Correct. it seems maybe this was an even earlier mikveh that was cut through, or maybe it was some kind of passageway to get down to this area. So we're having a lot of surprises come up. So hopefully, I mean, archaeology is there to help answer questions, right. <laughs> uh, but it seems like more and more come up as we go along. But right. hopefully we'll come to some answers as we go down. So right now you're digging in the, the Byzantine period. I That's guess right. I just went through a mosaic floor uh, here, just in this area where this um, tunnel continues. Is it filled with Byzantine period material? Yes. Or? Yes, this is actually quite a rich area in Byzantine material. We've basically got two rooms here. Uh, on either side of us and we had this Byzantine wall cutting right through uh, right over the top of our tunnel mm -hmm. so initially we did a probe through the wall to find a continuation of our earlier second temple period drain so now that we found that continuation we're expanding uh, cutting through a bit more of these Byzantine rooms to try and find more of the continuation of the Second Temple period tunnel. And really, this is an area rich in finds. We've had, uh, I believe, seven or eight coins today alone okay. already. Oh. Uh, a few other really nice pieces, bone pin pieces, uh, hairpin pieces. Uh, so yeah, really interesting area in and of its own right. And even though you're in the Byzantine period here, this is all being wet sifted or some of it or most of this it? This is all being at least dry sifted okay. for now. We may switch to wet sifting. I'm doing the wet sifting, so I'm happy if you dry, dry sift do, most of it. <laughs> we do have some second temple period material okay. that we've put aside for you. So Sounds good. Hopefully you can get some coins or something all out right, of that. Good. Okay, well thanks very much for your time. We'll let you get back to it and we'll no catch up problem. with you later on in the dig. Thank you, Brent.